Hello YouTube, this is like the Lord 3 and I have decided to do a Let's Play. I've decided to do um, A Link to the Past. This is the Game Boy Advance version, not the Super Nintendo version. Which should probably be pretty obvious from the menu. I figured I should give fair warning beforehand that um, I will likely sp be spending a lot of time in silence throughout this because I'm not very good at coming up with material to say and I am pro I'm, I'm well aware that this will probably not be a very good let's play in the end it's more of a personal project than really I don't know trying to be good I guess Alright, so after that, that was kind of the backstory to the game. There's a golden land, um, Aghanim's been stealing chicks, so on and so forth, pretty simple. Your uncle's gone to try to fight this, you're supposed to be staying home, you aren't. Uh, in that chest, I grabbed the lamp, which is automatically equipped. And basically what it does is start fires for a little bit of magic cost. It's generally really only used for lighting lanterns or like torches or something. And there's the sword and shield. The shield just kind of works on its own. It'll block like projectiles as long as you're facing the right way. And this is the basic sword. I don't remember what it's called. I want to say it's called like the warrior sword or something to that effect. But I'm not quite confident. The little green capsules I just picked up are the magic. Hearts are your health. It's pretty basic Zelda.
I have played this game to completion. I'm on the wrong side. This sword pretty much hits for, like, they don't, they, it hits for a tick of damage. I'm going to call it a tick because I can't think of a better name. I think that the spin attack on it hits for two ticks of damage. Green knights have two health. Blue knights have three. Red knights have four. I don't think red knights show up for quite a while, though. I'm on my way to save Zelda. There's the map. Self-explanatory. Keys open locked doors. Oops. So, A Link to the Past, I believe, is the third Zelda to have been released. It was the first one for the Super Nintendo. Now that I say that, I think it was actually the only one for the Super Nintendo. And was later ported to the Game Boy Advance. And it included the Four Swords, not the Four Swords Advance, just the Four Swords minigame. Which allowed you to link up multiple copies and play like a mini Zelda game. This is the Boomerang. You throw it, it comes back to you. It's not very long range. It doesn't damage enemies, it stuns them for the most part. There are certain, like, some weaker enemies will take damage from it, but, like, the guards here will just get stunned. <clears throat> it doesn't take up any magic to throw, which is why I equip it, in case if I accidentally use it, I won't take up MP magic. I guess this is supposed to be the first boss of the game. I don't really consider it a boss as much as just a tougher enemy. And I don't really consider this part a dungeon either. But, yeah, others do, so. There's Zelda. Now I just have to get back out. I've got a uh, cough, and I'm trying to not cough like right into the mic and destroy people's eardrums, so I'm sorry about that.
I'm probably just going to take the most direct route I can remember through this game. So... I'll stop. I'll probably gra end up grabbing a lot of the optional stuff. Oh wow, I'm already dead. That's not bueno. But uh, like this first area, I can recall most of it off the top of my head. So I'm just gonna run on through it. I don't think there's anything that I'm really missing by taking other paths. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm doing so bad. I mean, I know that sounds stupid, but normally I don't have any trouble with this, especially not with this part. Oh, lucky first try. Normally the key is dropped by a random enemy, but I the first red I killed actually dropped it. <clears throat> okay, if I'm getting hit this much this early on, I'm clearly not going to be doing well. If you pull that other lever, it drops a bunch of the snake enemies in here. I think they're called ropes. Alright, and I believe that's like 12 minutes in, so I'm going to call this quits on the first video. Um, this is Lord 3 playing Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and I'll see you next time.